Yo up ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gross here back from NVR Starcast with some more live Hearthstone gameplay climbing up the rank ladder. Currently rank 15, and I believe this is could be episode 9. I'm pretty sure in the last episode I was around level 17, possibly dropped back into 18. I remember I'm pretty sure I remember to get enough into 17. But I've been on a bit of a lucky spree today, or well, not lucky, I mean kind of Doing well, I guess. Maybe getting the right cards. You have a bit of luck in getting the right cards, but be making some big plays. And I actually got up to rank 15 now, so this is the highest rank I've got. Previously, I think the highest may have been 16, but I didn't last very long, and I think I lost one game, and then instantly just dropped back out. But I'm on a winning streak, so it does take four stars now. I've, this is actually a brand new Paladin deck as well, compared to what I previously had. So. Uh, We'll see how that affects. I'm going to keep these two just in case. It's a nice kind of combo to keep in my hand for now. The equality that I play my Wild Paramount, so it wipes everything out on the field, um, pretty much. So, obviously, it could wipe out my stuff, but the way I'd play it is to make sure that I don't have too much. So, really, Redemption isn't wasn't a great card to pick up in the silence again. It's a bit late game. We do go second, so we have the Mana Crystal going for me. He can't really do anything at level 1 unless he summons a Timber Wolf, which it wouldn't really worth, be worthwhile, in my opinion. Ray, bad girl. I wonder if it's a girl. We best say hello. Well I hope she is a very bad girl. It's probably some like guy who's just pretending to be a real bad girl. That would be pretty scary. Um, so yeah, really nothing to make here. I keep holding my mana crystal for now, and we'll see what he summons. He may just go for or she maybe. I don't know. He she. The bow goes for the steady shot. A standard. Nothing too special to really. Deal there, we summon out our little reinforcer, get some minion control, even though he's only a 1-1, one -one, but it, it gives us something to get on the field. So I've really been enjoying Hearthstone lately, I'm getting a better understanding of it. I still think, yeah, there's a lot of skill, I think there is a bit of, quite a bit of skill comes down to the game, but at the same time there's quite a bit of, um, you know, you need quite a bit of luck to get the right cards as well sometimes. You know, I've played games where I've, you know, I've not done any damage to the enemy because I've just got pathetic cards and they've got all the right cards, but at the same time... You do have to play smart and you know think about your next move instead of just your move you're playing now. So I really want to kind of get rid of this guy because he gives everything else an additional attack. So I may just plus one. I haven't got a divine shield, so I can't protect this dude. But trading, trading that for that's all right. We still keep board control this way. Obviously he goes first, so he can summon something. He could go for a taunt now, possibly. She maybe I I don't know. I just called it. I like to think it's a girl, but at the end of the day, I can't type anything to her. I could add her as a friend. I could add her as a friend, I guess. Be like, hey, I'm a dirty pervert, you want to be my friend? So he has to attack my health or she, whatever. Um, and then I just kill it with my minion. Lose board control, the only thing really. It's not worth chop. Nah, it's not worth that. Let's keep that a secret in case he has an ooze. I might as well just... I can summon this dude, let's put that down, that's cool. That's cool, that's a nice little play. Still have my mana crystals, so... If he decides to summon his hounds, even though he'd only get one hound, and they cost three mana instead of two now. If, if anything really happens, you know, I've got my equality and I can also play my wild Pyroman pyromancer in all just one move, and I'm not at that point, that move could just happen any time if I need to. This could be pretty cool, see what he does. He goes to the Timberwolf. So you really want to clear this field right now. In all fairness, I could just summon my war on my, my pyromancer and just pop a mana crystal. Because if I take my mana, means if I if I play like this and I take, see, I could kill one. And I could buff this guy up because he gets plus three free for taking my Doran sh uh, my Doran shield, my flipping divine shield. Do you mean too much League of Legends? Or I could go for the War War Pyromancer, clear up the board, and then play another minion, uh, which I think sounds pretty cool, to be honest. I'm going to go for that. It clears the board, and then I lose my Divine Shield, but it's not the end of the world. So, what I need to do is I then have to play this. Boom, wipes the board. The thing is, I now have four, so what do I summon? I could summon this, but... I have to really play a big card now to kind of make it worthwhile. I wouldn't normally actually do this, because I think this is a bit of a waste, what I've just done. 
Um, I could have attacked, but I've decided not to. Let's just hope he doesn't have an ooze. The reason I did that is I really wanted to wipe the field then, because of the fact of uh, getting rid of those two cards, the Buzzard and the Timberwolf, is really important. The Buzzard, he gains a card every time he plays a beast, and the Timberwolf will buff that beast what comes out. So I think that was the best option really to go for there. Um, so I could I can keep this guy there for the moment. So what do I trade? I, I guess I get rid of my... Well, either one's good to have. If anything happens, I can still have my wild paramounts just sitting there. Or I could just, again, I still have my heal here, so I could just what chop justice. him up and actually keep board control and lose nothing. I completely kind of forgot about that dude sitting there. So I think I'm going to drop down this dude. I'm waiting for the hounds to come. This is what I'm really actually waiting for. Summon this dude and we'll pop this down. He may, if he goes for the hound here, get rid of my divine shield and everything's a 1 1, so it's not going to take much for him to get through this front line, but we'll see what he does. If he does get the hounds, it'd be a bit of a shame, but next turn, if he doesn't, then I'm going to I'm gonna drain the Doran shield, a uh, fucking divine shield. Hear me, League of Legends. Uh, he's used both of his tracking now, which is good, so he's going to lose uh, four. He's going to lose four cards. He could get two really good cards. If you play a secret, most likely that secret deals two damage to all my enemies, which will wipe out my field by my Doran's. Well, I could actually take the Doran shield, which would be quite smart. I think it's when I attack his heroes. We want to attack these first. I reckon. There's no point using this. See, I may just drain this just in case the Doran shield does get popped. I don't want to waste it, but he would take two damage, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah, let's do this. Drain that. And we'll go... Boom on him. And boom on him. Again, now he has no more buzzers or timberwolves in his deck, so it's GG. Now we've got the hounds. The thing is, I know once I attack, I'm gonna take deal 2 damage. Here we go. That's cool. The thing is, had I have, uh, not summoned this guy, I'd have lost my Doran shield. I live in Divine Shield, god. Um, and we'll keep this up. We could heal myself with two, but it's not worth it. I've got this guy for next to me, my Guardian of Kings, so... So you really just kind of can't keep, keep, think and move ahead. That's pretty nice. He might just arcane shot it now, but at least that's out of the way. Or he could do that, that's cool. It's not the end of the world, it was only a 6-6. Six -six. It wasn't like I invested anything crazy into making that happen, so... Take a bit of damage, but we'll clear the board and we heal myself as well, and we still summon something else. Or if I really want it... Oh, oh doesn't that change things, doesn't it? That does change things. I think I might keep him in the bag for the moment. What I could do, in all fairness, is change him to one, so I don't actually take massive amount of damage, but at the same time, if I heal myself, it'd be better. Alright, let's what just, uh... This? Do this. We get the heal off it as well. Gets rid of it. We still have minion control. We've got my secret, so I can play that down with Ragnaros. And we're up to ten. We're up to ten mana now. So we, if he has another one of his um, hunters mark or whatever, it changes my health down. At least it's gonna be wasted on this dude. And I've got a nice hand to do anything. It's just a case if he has his longbow. I don't think he does. It's really good. If we kill this, then that's gonna do eight guaranteed damage to him then. We have board control big times. So yeah, it's pretty much GG. So we, we take uh, two damage because of his passive, but fuck him. The only thing he could really. The only thing which would really actually help him right now is if he was to have a. Uh, I don't know if I should worth play on that. Because it might just come back and haunt me on that, but at the same time. Fuck it. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I might regret doing that. Most likely, if anything's going to kill, it's going to be the hand recruit. But it, either way, pretty much this game's over. Well, oh, I'm on 11 health, so he could do guaranteed two, which knocked me down to nine. He could charge, and if he has his longbow, which he don't think he does, or oh, it depends what he plays here. Nine damage, seven damage, five damage. Oh no, it's only going to do three because of. Uh, well. Oh, there we go. Happy days. Got a great way to start this episode off at level 15. Three, we got, I think I got two bonus stars in because I'm on a winning streak. You only get one bonus star, I see. So if we win again, that should actually put me up to 14, which would be pretty cool. Hooray! Even got 
some more gold for playing down those minions. How about that? Lovely stuff. So I think my new Paladin deck, I've changed it around compared to... I'll probably do a video later on showing you my two decks and showing the differences. This one revolves around... I think there's quite there's quite a lot more yeah there's a lot more divine shields on my minions in this deck mainly revolving around I can't remember what that I can't remember what that dude's called who sucks divine shields and you can make him really kind of strong sort of like your hyenas when you play the beast but you still keep your minions which is really cool um, and they just lose divine shields so that's sort of the idea behind it I've I chucked in two equalities which I never had before and with that wild promance wild wild poem romance so it works really nice so I'm actually I don't know it's kind of nice to have that but at the moment really I can't really make anything happen I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of everything fuck it let's just uh, go crazy but they were quite nice cards but we might be able to get something uh, you know that's just probably a better hand to be honest bar no uh, noble sacrifices we do have the Blood Knight, so we can make quite a big combo happen, really. But the problem with the Druid is the fact, same with the Druid Rogue and Mage, is they can pop my Divine Shields quite easily. So unless I play them down, at, so that would be 5, 8. So I'd need to be at 8 mana to make the most out of that. Because as I say, what he most likely do is just shapeshift and chomp it. But he summons his knife juggler out, which is quite a nice little move by him. And there's not really much I can do but summon a little minion. If he summons a minion now, obviously there's a 50-50 chance that it will kill mine, which would be sucky. Or he, if he's smart, he could eat it. Or if he summons a minion down, it would just be as good, really, I guess. It's gonna... Luckily it goes for me, that's cool. Oh, that's pretty gay. It's not gonna go for me, is it? Seven damage straight at me. Oh, that was pretty hefty. Um... These two minions, or... If he summons a minion, that might pop my divine shield. I'd rather just lose the health, to be honest. Let's just hope it doesn't pop my divine shield. If he summons a minion, because that would be so annoying. Oh god. Oh, motherfucker. Thank fuck for that. He may just go straight at my health, to be honest. And just try and whack me down as quick as possible. Wow, well, this is... This is what I mean, you really need the cards, and at the moment I'm getting butt raped because I don't have the right cards. So he's going to do a guaranteed 6 damage, possibly 7 if he uses that. And I can get rid of this dude, but that's about it. That's about the best I can throw. Fuck. Clearing out the ball. Oh. I guess I could play a Noble Sacrificer. It's not really what I'd want to do, but I'm at I'm at the stage where my HP is so little. I should have could have summoned another hand recruit, but I'm at the stage where my HP is so little. I think he's just going to focus it. So at least if it kills one minion, it starts to give me board control. He's blown a lot early game, so he's gone through his. That's that's all right. He gets a card because of it, but at the end of the day, he's got to die some way. It's not the way I normally like to do that because you could have blocked some big damage, but at the moment I need to just really kind of soak up as much as I can because he could take me down to nine. HP if he really just wanted to focus me, but I do clear the board next wave, so... we got Ragnaros in my hand, so if I can hold out for a couple oh, more moves, we might be right. He's gonna silence... Oh, that was smart. That was really smart. Just gonna put me in a sticky situation. You shall not and the taunt. Wow. GG. I need my wild poem romancer now. If I don't get him right now, this is GG. I don't think this is over, really. Um... Oh, this is not good. I don't know what to say. Um, I guess I could buff him up. I'm gonna take that, and then I oh know buff him up and take him. But then he won't lose the divine shield. But I'll get more HP back and fuck the divine shield. Doesn't make have to. He have to lose a minion. Fuck it. He'd have to attack it. it. This game's not looking good for me anyway, to be honest. I could have kept the Divine Shield on this dude, but he's just going straight for my health anyway, so... At least now he's either got to bite it, or he, t he sacrifices a minion, which is going to start to allow me to board it, build up some board control, hopefully. He's low on cut... Oh, same same me, I guess. I don't know. It all depends. I really need... I've only got one taunt in this deck, which I'm not sure... The thing is, it's quite an aggressive deck, really. You really rely around having the, the Divine Shields and the Blood Knight, but this dude just went all ham on me and went crazy. He could have a card which destroys us. If he destroyed this right now, that would be... So that's, that's alright, I'm kind of happy to take that trade. He goes for the charge and goes straight for my house. Alrighty then. 
it's no good to me, is it? The only thing I can really do is drop his health down. To, oh, it doesn't even matter because I kill it anyway. Take the two damage. So I, I have to chop that up. So I then take. I take. Uh, Let me think. Take four. Oh, I heal for eight. Then put me on the four. He does two and he kills me next turn. Justice. Nothing I can do about that, really. Boom, boom. Kills me next turn, and I see. He might even have a card which fucking eats me now. Unless I get my my. The only thing that could help me now is I get my heal next turn, and I've only got one heal on the deck, and that's that king. My king. Uh, I'm not sure what he's called. This is what I mean. Like, there's, there's certain, like I say, there's quite a lot that comes down to skill and playing the right cards, but at the same time, what card? I had no cards to play. He had the perfect combo. Literally, uh, it's GG. Oh, he can't kill me. Like, what can I do? I can do nothing. I can do nothing. Because he Sorry. just, uh... He just... Justice he just fucking... The victory likes me or whatever. I can't do anything. If I had one more mana, then it would have been a bit of a different story. Lose my winning streak, that's the most annoying thing. I'm not really too fussed about losing a star, but... That winning streak was, it's just nice to have because it gives you good momentum to going up through the ranks. But So unfortunately I just got off to a really nice start with the first game, but that game was just, you know, just didn't have the hand. I literally just didn't have the hand. Bolstering up that flipping knife jacker like he did was crazy. Seven straight damage. Plus he had the two minions with a two to one and I just didn't have anything to clear the board. It's just one of those kind of things. I've got the cards in my deck to do it, but the cards just didn't come up and he killed me too early. And the mages are really good cards. Uh, I really struggle against mages as well. I don't think I've played a mage with this deck yet, so we'll see. We have just these cards. If I had that, I would have cleared the whole board and it would have been GG. I'm going to get rid of everything. Fuck it. Let's see what we can get. I'm hoping for like a one level one, my level one divine shield, but I haven't really got that. So pretty much just the same as what we had before. Level wise, it's the same as we had before, oh so God. nothing special. The thing with annoying with the mages is again, like the druid, you just pyro blast or you just eat the, the pallet in my hand recruit, and it's just like, fuck. That's a good card to play down, that's gonna be annoying to deal with. Especially if he fireballs me now, at least I won't hear anything, but still, it is an annoying card for him to play down. So we'll see. Uh, oh, he's gone for the minion. Which is good because I can now. Ki oh, I can do. How can that. Oh, your spells cost one less. GG. That was a really good move for him to play. And he now goes healed up. And it's just an early game. Like this early game, I have n I've got nothing to do about this right now. It's what I could have done with having that concentration. Concentration, or what the fuck it's called. Oh, that's annoying. I'm just going to have to play this dude down. Most likely, he'd just fireball it and then attack it. Or he might even just not do it. No, I would probably fireball and attack it. Because he could kill it with that. But then at the same time, that's healing all his stuff. So that one's giving the spells cost less. Or he could just summon a taunt and go for my health. He goes for the fireball, of course he does. And does he go for the... What's he going to go for? He's going to go for the health. Knowing that, yeah. Uh, I'm not as smart. I guess. I really need... I don't know if it's not really well. I need to get minions out. At least I can get two minions out now. Give him a divine shield back. Try and take life from there, I guess. He's gonna have to make him waste two, two mana again if he wants to get rid of it. And we can, I can start to take some control. It all just depends that this dude's getting really buffed up. But we do have the plus three attack, which is nice. And we also have the uh, equality. Let's see. So he's gonna fire blast that again. No problem. And what does he do here? He could do that. It's just like, how does that cost? Oh, I guess it would cost one, but because of that card. Well, this is annoying. So we can wipe out. No, I can't even wipe them all out. So, what do I do now? Play equality and wipe out the whole board. I can't wipe out the whole board, but I can clear all these minions. Or do I silence silence someone because they're just fucking being annoying? Little punk ass bitches. Or I just bolster this. Bolster this guy. The battle 
Boom, boom, boom. He still has all the fucking damage minions on, so now he was having a hand recruit. Or I silence one of these because he's three to four. Or I could have some hand recruit and divine shield him. I don't want to throw my silence away just yet, but the thing is, he could now do seven, six, eight, nine damage to me and then just finish me off with a pyroblast. Whatever his fireballs, cool, yeah, what, I, I don't know, it might be called a pyroblast, I don't know. See what he does. So go for her, alright. Going for the health again, yeah, of course he is. So I can wipe out the board now, but yeah, six damage. Two turns, he wins! It's fucking jokes. Oh, he could even win right now. Oh, he could. I just thought that was his. Uh, didn't even do one damage to him. Deary me. So, what happens when I guess she start moving up the ranks? She yeah, absolutely. But it's just, again, really, the car. Like, his his early game was ridiculously strong. Same with. Um, who, who did I. Just, I can't remember who I played now. Was it, it wasn't. Uh, the druid, so yeah, the, just his early game was like so much better than I had nothing to deal with that. He just got those minions out on the field, and that's the thing. Once you get minion control, it's just over, and he had so many minions, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't bring anything out. And again, I've got nothing here to do anything. Like I really have nothing. We're against another paladin as well. I, I'm gonna just keep this guy. See if we can get. We need something early game. Again, <laughs> it's not early game at all. Like, so again, you know, as I say, it does come down to skill, but you know, you need the power of the look well of the cards. So, uh, well met. you know, I just again these cards, like really, the only decent card there is kind of that guy. So, you know, we have, we'll see. The thing with the paladin is he doesn't have great kill potential to like wipe out my board unless he has something like this. So, we'll see. That should be cool. Can start to feed up this guy possibly as well. I might just trade minions, summon one down, keep this guy there for the moment. It's pointless of wasting divine shield just for one, really. Unless there's nothing else to play. So yeah, this is cool. He's just we're just gonna copy each other until someone gets a good enough card to play. Uh, I could bolster my guy up right now and just go for his health. But he would then have minion control, which would be a bit of a pain. Or I could go for his minion and then feel that he shouldn't really have anything to take that out right now. We have minion control now. Could have summoned another hand recoup. I have something. I have a big 5-4 on the field now, so let's see how he reacts to this. Do that. At least that guy's wasted. He's got in gold, which is pretty cool. Alright, what we could do now is just bolster this guy up, which would make him a 6, which would instantly give him something else to worry about. Or I could. Probably too much else more to play unless I played this guy and sacrificed him into him, but he would just get taken out next turn anyway. So let's uh, not on fire. let's give him a. That's not a valid uh, target. I thought I could give. Uh, oh no! I think it's with my actual the, this magic card. You can give the, the enemy a divine shield. The thing is, actually, he would. Ah, uh, yeah. Fuck! I didn't really think about that. Well, he would have been really good to have kept, thinking that he's a paladin now. I would have been able to suck his divine shields off if he has any, and I imagine he's got he's gonna he's gonna have some for his deck. I do have another one, but it's the case of when does he get it? So he silences it. He might even trade that. He's got really nice gold cards. What the fuck? Why has he got so many gold ones? It's pretty cool. Not even that's gold. Like what the fuck? Puts me to shame. You really me? But every card he's played has been gold. <laughs> uh, all right. That's quite smart, I guess. See what do we want to do here then? He yeah, we can't summon him to check because he's only gonna get killed. I could play this and gain board control, I guess. Which wouldn't be terrible. I guess. Play the board control. He can then still take out one of these with that, I guess, if he really wanted to. Don't know if that was the best way of doing it, but we do have board control now, which is important. I can kind of maintain board control with my peacekeeper plus my blessing of the might. I've got my cult master there. If he summons something, I can kind of sacrifice my minions to get some minions. Depends what he does with this. I want him to use it and make me feel a lot more happier. Is he going to go for him? 
At least it's gone. That's that's wasted now. We haven't got to worry about that anymore. So, you know, if I summon something like this dude, he's not going to get chuck eaten up by him. So let's play him down. Hope he doesn't get killed next turn, but we get a card out of him and he's a 4-2 four, four on the field. So we get a card. Nice card to get. Chuck my Divine Shield down and we'll see what happens. Let's just hope he doesn't have anything to... He could have a Hammer of Wrath, which would take it out, or he might even have another flipping... This card, this True Silver Champion. How's the champion? He didn't, there's no one in the picture, just a little like He-Man. That should just be called He-Man Sword. Like Legend of He-Man. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. What you can do is bolster her up and just kill him. Yeah. Sounds good to me. I could have summoned Ragnaros actually. Fuck. I'm really paying attention to that. Could have summoned Ragnaros, that'd probably been. I don't know, actually, we game. We'll see what he does. He's got to worry about some shit now. He, uh, nothing else to do. We got a nice strong hand, so. Let's see, I should. I could have probably summoned Ragnaros and waste. I could have summoned. No, I don't know. Could have summoned Ragnaros and hope that 50-50 uh, that it went for him. Let's hope that these die first. I don't know if I'm going to get cards for them, because he died. Had he not died, then that would have been a bit better. That's a good card. I think you've got to spend some money to get it, because I've actually got that card. So I could just summon Ragnaros down and see what happens. He could buff up that minion, but in all fairness, if, if it killed the minion, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Let's see what happens. That's not terrible. It doesn't do the damage to him, but it means I have board control, and he can't now just buff up the minion. And he's gonna have—he doesn't have any polymorphs or anything to do there. So the, the main thing with the paladin, you rely around having a minion. I could bless him with King's Zoom and then plus like put on my uh, whatever I used a second ago the attack uh, plus three. I was not really too cleared up on all the names to be honest. I know the pi if I saw the picture, I can know what it kind of does. So that doesn't really bother me. You know, it means that. He oh, that was nice. Well that was uh, very nice. Thank you. That was really, really nice car. I was just about to say that was like whatever. Interesting. All right, let's get rid of this guy. I'm Raph and see what we get on the board. Seems I can't chop him up just yet, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, so we're just we'll just see. That was really nice by him to get rid of rid of my uh, Ragnaros like that. I wish it did do the 8 damage for the guy now. It's going interesting. So I don't gonna lose it. No, I won the first one, I've lost the last two, so. Might be dropping out of 15 before you know it. You can't copy that, that's quite smart. This is what I could do with having my uh, other flipping dude who sucks the divine shields out right now. He's gonna make him. He's just gonna go for my health, is he? Uh, dearie me, not what I wanted. We could make him down to one, which would be pretty cool. And then make him. No, we'd have to bolster her up. Let's make him down. Or well, even if we did make him down to one, it wouldn't matter because she'd have the divine shield, so she wouldn't even die. Yeah, she won't even die anyway, so. We may as well. Well played. Play. I could actually just go like this, and then just get rid of her. We can still summon a minion, and we've still got this dude sat there. So we we have now a seven five and a one one, and still got a pretty strong hand. I'm gonna have to plug my cable into my headset as it's about to die. Oh, that would not be good. Hopefully she'll be back and run. Alright, this could be quite smart. Uh, yeah, wow. Well, even a little well played. Clears the whole board. Oh no, actually it doesn't. That was my mistake. So what does he do? Is he going to go for my health? Could start just chomping me down now. Smart. He's going to do it one more time to me and he's got no more of them. So, yeah, we're looking good now. Alright, let's shut this dude up. Could heal myself if I play the Torn. I'm going to go for the Torn. The heal's still there for next turn. And get the other divine shield down. Big mini control now. He has to chop with this. And he's gonna have to go through the divine shield, so we'll see how this goes now. I think we may he does have a lot of HP, but I think he's burnt a lot of cards to get through my big cards, but he may still have... 
you could do that. Fucking hell. Puts the cat amongst the pigeons, doesn't it? What is that card? The Black Knight. I like it. Oh, do I, do I want to do this? Or do I just go turn him into a one? I could turn him into a one and heal myself, and then I at least got big minions on the field. Alright, let's, let's do this. we got to turn him into a one to make him less scary now. Heal myself. I might just go for his health. There are only one one, so they could get buffed up though, which I might regret, but I can't kill him just yet. I could have killed him, but at least I've still got the divine shield there to be sucked away by my blood knight if I really want to. Not on my really good, this is really good. Unless he actually depends how he plays this so. though. Uh, he burnt my divine shield. It depends how he uses his divine shield. It's a bit of a shame he burnt that one, to be honest. I could try and chop that up. I really want him to get rid of that. I really need to get my big uh, legendary paladin card out really at the moment. Is he going to go for it? Let's go for my how. This weekend. Uh, no way he went. That was interesting. So. Hmm. So that's 6. 11. So I either start clearing the board. I might just start trying to clear the board a little bit. Summon a hand recruit. Alright, just give us the numbers advantage. So, power him into him. Him into him. Him into him. We've now got board control. And I've still got my blood knight if he plays anything with divine shield. Depends what he... Is that the taunt? That's cool. We can kill the taunt instantly. Yeah, that's cool. Let's just hope we get something good now. Silence would be actually really nice, but then to be honest, I've still got to kill that guy. So silence might be worthwhile keeping. If I trade him, he still won't even actually die. Let's put him low, but it still gives me board control. He's only going to have three cards in his hand, same here. And I've still got some nice cards to play. And we'll leave it at. I can't. We'll leave it at that. We'll see what happens. Because I have minion control, and that's the main thing right now. So he could have a, a consecration, which wipes out my whole board. Here, that's cool. That's alright. We keep we keep board control, which is the main thing. Equally, we got some nice big cards to play. If we need to sacrifice that guy. Start doing the damage to him now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw any of my cards down just in case. I don't want to I don't want to really give away these cards. It makes him scared that I've got something big here still. You know, I could be doing an additional like seven damage having these two on the board, but if he plays something big, you know, he could have the the legendary paladin card like I've got, and I could just sign us out. Or he could play this. Uh, this is what I was worried about. Yeah. And that's just wiped out the whole field, which is really nice by him. It's really nice. GG. All right, this is what we wanted. That's cool. All right, we'll chop up his minion because we want to gain board control back. For me, that's the main thing. I could be going for his health, and I'd do eight damage, but. I want, I want board control, and through playing like this, I get board control. And we'll leave it like this. We'll keep him worried with what's in my hand. I've got nothing really to play at the moment. He's gonna, we're gonna round cut or well, Let's just hope we can get my big paladin and do that soon. Put your faith in See, there's his. I can silence this now. Silence. He's just useless, literally. This is why I kept. Oh no, I shouldn't have silenced him. Fuck! I could have drained the divine shield, couldn't I? Fucking idiot. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. I could have took the divine shield off him and he wouldn't have been a threat. Could have. Oh, I could have jumped. Oh, I could have done so. I could have played that better. I just saw my silence and rushed that then. I could have played that a lot better. That's cool. Let's just get rid of him. Can I chop this up? I can, good. Oh, I could have played that a lot better actually. Plus, I had the divine. Sh I could have. I could have played that so much better then. I could. I could. Oh my god! I'm really. I could hang it. That dude could be fucking so OP right now. He could have been a nine nine. Uh, this to do to even. Uh, he could have been a nine nine. Instead, he's nothing because I fucked up. That's cool though. 
At least we got rid of this thing and he didn't get anything from it, but it could have been... Could have went a lot better. We got this. Cool. Alright, so... We can bolster this dude's attack up and just kill him. We don't lose anything that way. We could even suck his divine shield out and sacrifice him for that. And then we've got a fresh big minion on the field. Then he's still... Fuck it. We still got him on the field. I haven't lost anything then. I don't know. I could have. I'm so annoyed about that because I could have sucked him out. I'd have stole his divine shield, and um, then still silenced him, and it'd have been a no. That would have been an OP move, and still equality. Equality them first. I could have played it all so much better. All right, so he's actually got a bit of minion control now. What I might even actually do is. I think if I play the Divine Shield onto him, mm. it would get blown off by his passive. It would wipe the board, which wouldn't be a bad thing, because I'm going to have to kill the minion some way. Might try and do this way. Let's try and see if this works. I don't think it's going to. Or I could even Divine Shield him, and he won't even actually die. I'm pretty sure once I put the Divine Shield down and whoever I put it down, it's all going to get uh, burnt anyway, so yeah. He stays alive and we wipe the board. Well played. Thank you. Still got him there, but I should have played. I'm really annoyed that I really hit myself right now. Because this could cost me the game. That that dude, would I think, would have won it. Let's see. So we can do 10, 11. Nice. Really need that. I can't do that. Oops. Shit. That was a mistake. Fuck. I am sorry. Oh, I didn't think it would do it off a secret. Oh my god. I've just thrown I've just thrown the game. I'm just gonna have to play him down there. I've just oh, I can't believe I've just done that. I've just thrown the whole game completely. Oh my god, I could at least even if if I knew that was gonna happen, I at least would attack with him. Well, I wouldn't have even done it if I knew that was going to happen. That's a really nice card. Lay of the hands. That could be, yeah, he's won this now, to be honest. He's got the card advantage. I've got nothing. At least we killed that and we can... Oh, I can't believe I just did that. I just threw away my van. I still got my big taunt, though. But we're getting to that point where... It doesn't really matter. I can't believe... I really can't believe I just did that. And he has, so, he has card advantage and everything. Oh my god, I could really... That's how you drop out of 15. That, it's just two... Twice now I've done two things this game where I've just not been thinking. I've just kind of clicked and not really thought about the consequences. So... I'm almost out of cards. That's one good thing, is he's going to start burning before me, but I'm only on 9 HP. Let's just hope he doesn't have a ch If I get my taunt, that's what I need right now is that taunt. Change everything. Oh, he has Ragnarok. Is he just going to go for my health? gets to use that as a GG. So he's gonna go for that, which makes it more chance of this hitting me. Oh shit. Deary me, that's it. That's game over right there. That is game over. I can't believe I just lost that game. It doesn't matter though because of the fact of uh, the fact that he uh, can just kill me now with that, there's nothing I could do about that unfortunately. I had that taunt guy the whole time in my hand and there's nothing I could do about it. Well um, yeah, just... Uh, I should have really won that. I could have won that. I had I had, I had, had the advantage and I threw it away when I had that 7-1 on the field. That, ladies and gentlemen, it is how you don't play Hearthstone. So it shows you you should think before you click, and twice when I could have got all these divine shields, and had I got that, I think the game would have been over a long time ago. And yeah, it was just just me being really dumb, and I just I can't believe that secret. I didn't think that secret was going to pop it. It's a good thing to kind of know, I guess. And I'm still in 15, and I wasn't on a winning streak. I thought I'm on a losing streak. I've lost three games in a row. Probably uh, the more games if you go on like that, I probably lose a lot more. Uh, um, drop down a lot more, but. 
There you go. Uh, learned the lesson the hard way with the wild pyromancer there, to be honest. I didn't even think about that. That's really annoying. That's kind of peed me off a little bit, but... To be honest, we haven't lost... Oh, I'm still in 15. If I lose my next one, though, we will go down. But that's the end for this episode. I think I'm going to have to call it quits at the moment. Regroup myself, because that was, that, was that was not good in any, any sense or form. But nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy and have a great day. Peace.